How do you add markers to your project in Logic Pro for iPad? In this video, I'm gonna show you how, let's go. When you're mixing a larger project here in Logic Pro on your iPad, it can get confusing knowing where your verse, your chorus, your bridge, all your sections are, and that's where your song markers can come in handy. To view the markers track, simply drop down the global track panel here, and the markers is the very first track. You'll also notice that we have a tempo track, and if we tap and hold, we can add a time signature and tap and hold again for a key signature track. So you can have multiple tempos, multiple time signatures, and multiple key signatures all in the same project. If you wanna learn more, more details down in the description. But for now, let's look at markers. To add a marker, we set our playhead at the point where we want the first marker to be, and we hit the plus button. To adjust the size of the marker, you'll notice at the end here, there's a handle. If we grab this and drag, we can set this. So we want to set this to be just the intro before our vocals start for our first verse. So we'll drop it there, and there's our first marker set. To rename a marker, simply tap on the marker, tap on the inspector button in the bottom left corner, and then tap here in marker name. We're going to delete this, type in intro, and then when we tap off, it's going to update the name of our marker. You can also adjust the position and the length of your markers using the values here in the inspector. To add our next marker, drag the playhead to the point where you'd like the marker to go and hit the plus button. Again, grab the handle at the end of the marker and drag it to the position where you'd like your next section to end. And since we already have the inspector window open, we can simply tap, delete, and enter the word verse. Once you have your markers set, you can use them to focus in on a particular part of your project. So if we want to look at just the verse, we tap on the verse marker, tap again, and then hit the set cycle button. This will make our cycle area just that verse so that when we hit play Never one for going hard. it jumps straight to our verse the other option we have is to set cycle rounded now this means that if your marker starts or finishes not right on a bar it will give you the rest of that bar as part of the cycle moving a marker is as simple as tapping and then tapping and dragging to a new position or you can also trim the front and the back by using the trim handles on your marker. And finally, to delete a marker, all you need to do is tap and hit the delete button. And yes, at this stage, gray is the only color for a marker. So if you are hoping for some nice color coding for your song sections, unfortunately, it's not available, at least now in Logic Pro 1.0. Finally, to hide your markers and other global track settings, simply tap again on the show hide button. If you'd like to learn more about using Logic Pro on your iPad to create, record, and release your best music, check out the other videos down in the description.